Hi everybody, it's Jen with opensource.com and I'm bringing you the top five articles this week, December 8th through the 12th. Every week I look at the numbers and look at social media, see how things have been going and bring you, and bring you the most popular articles. You can see all of the links to the articles in the notes below and then I publish the article every Saturday. So let's get started. At number five we have Open Modix improves home automation. Open Modix is an open source home automation hardware and software system that offers features like switching lights and outputs, multi-zone heating and cooling, power measurements, and automated actions. Frederick Rickboss is a back-end developer for OpenModix and explains that installation, configuration, and price are where home automation typically falls down. He shows us how OpenModix sets out to fix that. At number four, open source for sensitive email. Oliver Theory of Zimbra says that open source software is the answer for government agencies or business entities relying on secure email. He names power and numbers, trust, and leverage as the three components of open source software that allows for high levels of security and privacy in email. At number three this week, do you need programming skills to learn Linux? So a few months ago, I took the Introduction to Linux course offered through edX. It's an 18 chapter course with lots of reading, some videos, and a casual level of testing your knowledge. My main goal in taking the course was to get a better, high level understanding of Linux. So I installed Linux on my Chromebook too. In this article, see what it was like to test out Linux for the first time and dive deeper into the command line. If you're a coder, developer, or have been in tech for many years, you may recall those days yourself. It's been a fun adventure, and I definitely look forward to learning more about Linux in the future. P.S. On the subject, this week we published a neat interview I did with Elaine Marino of Lady Coders Productions on whether or not marketing professionals should learn to code. At number two this week, Making your IT infrastructure boring with Ansible. Michael DeHaan of Ansible gives a short talk at Red Hat Tower in Raleigh prior to the All Things Open conference this year on why Ansible was created. Pretty much, he wants sysadmins to spend less time doing the monotonous stuff and more time on creative and interesting things for the project they work on. And at number one this week, it's Tinkering with the Raspberry Pi A+. Luis Ibanez, our community moderator with an open hardware fascination, opens up another Raspberry Pi board from Adafruit and tinkers around. He compares it to the Raspberry Pi B Plus and brings up Coder on it as well, like he did with the B Plus a couple of weeks ago. See those articles in the notes below. And finally, I wanted to remind you guys that our open source holiday gift guide is on the site. Check it out for some great ideas for gadgets and other neat open hardware gifts for those people in your life that um, might really get into that. Thanks so much and join me next week. See ya.